Hello, so today we're going to have a look at the Korean K1 gas mask, and this was kindly lent to me by JJ to do a video on it. I'll put his full username in the description because it's got a load of numbers in it and I can't remember them all off the top of my head. Um, I've got a cold as well at the moment, so I'm not going to put the mask on because I don't want to get germs in his mask. Um, but yeah, basically, thanks for him lending me this. This is one of the things, you know, where people sometimes lend me a mask so I can give my thoughts on it and then I can mail it back to them. So it's in a woodland sort of DPM style bag. Reminds me a lot of the US camo. There's a bit on it there. K1 2010, as you can see. Right, so let's open it up. So this has been in Korean service for quite a while now, the K1. And it kind of looks a bit like a cross between a Chinese um, FMJ05 and a light anti-gas respirator. Uh, if I can get the buckle open. Some of these buckles seem quite stiff. There we go. So what we've got in here is there's the mask itself. We've got a little manual for it. As you can see, K1. So from that you'll probably think, oh the top bit looks like an S10 just with a different bottom bit on. Um, but yeah, to me it looks more like the FMJ05. But um, anyway, and um, there's an NBC hood here as well. There's also a drinking tube in there but I won't get all that out and get it dirty. So the NBC hood is obviously just to add additional protection to the mask. So this one is in a bag, or it's got a picture of the mask on the bag. A bit of writing on there, and you can see at the top it says K1. Okay, so let's look at the mask itself, because that's obviously the most interesting bit. So yeah, it does remind me a bit of an S10, looking at it, not loads. It's definitely a thicker sort of rubber. Um, it's got the sort of... Ah, oh, what's the name for it? You know, like the face piece, face mould bit in there to keep the shape of it. So I won't take that out because um, that will actually make it easier to show on camera. But you can see down there, you've got obviously your voice diaphragm and XL valve and your drinking tube. There's your filter intake. It's 40mm NATO. See, this one's a size medium. And there's your two eyepieces. So these are like halfway between being round eyepieces and triangular eyepieces. And then there's your sort of voice diaphragm and XL valve system there that reminds me a lot of the light anti-gas respirators. There's your drinking tube port. So how many straps does this have on it? A six point head harness by the look of it with a sort of securing neck strap type thing. Yeah, so overall this looks quite nice. So Korea's apparently had this in service quite a while now. Um, I keep hearing that they're meant to be replacing this with something else, but whether or not they've actually chosen a mask model to replace it with, I don't know. Now, these are often exported, apparently, to the US and other places under um, a different name. It's, uh, they call them something like the 500 or 5000. I can't remember what the actual brand name they give them now is. They're essentially their Korean K1s for export. Apparently, you can get ones as well that have different colours on there for, like, civil defence models and everything. Um, so, the mask itself is made from a butyl rubber that feels fairly decent. Um, and, obviously, the NBC hood there gives it a better kind of level of protection. I'll just unfold that so you can see obviously the shape of the hood. Um, so you go, pretty standard sort of thing. Obviously these bits are elasticated to stretch around the parts of the mask. So if you're familiar with M17 NBC hoods and whatever, it looks quite similar to that. Um, you know, the creepy kind of weird looking um, sort of NBC hoods when they're not on the mask. But yeah, so overall this looks like it would be fairly good. Obviously one of those is the drinking tube port, one of them is the filter port. Um, as I said, because I've got a cold and everything, I don't really don't want to put this on and it looks brand new. So, you know, because it's not my mask, I want to send it back to the person in exactly, you know, same condition they sent it to me in. But overall, yeah, this does look quite a nice mask. I certainly think if it's in your size, it would be a pretty good mask, you know, for people in general. It's got a drinking tube on it, you know, that's probably of quite a decent standard. I'm sure the voice diaphragm on it's alright, you know, I prefer panoramic masks now, but I'm sure this gives you a fairly good field of view. You know, it doesn't look like it's anything spectacular, but it certainly looks like it would do the job as, you know, your standard sort of 1980s onwards, very good sort of infantry style, or just general armed forces style respirator. So, there you go, thanks again to JJ. In the description I will have his full sort of YouTube name in there, so if you want to contact him or look him up, you can find his channel there. So I'll be sending this back to him quite soon, because obviously as I said it's not my mask, he just very kindly lent it me, and I don't want to get snot or anything on it, because as I said, a bit under the weather at the moment. So um, there you go, thanks to him for sending me, there's not loads to really speak about on this, the carriers can definitely vary I've seen for these, because I have seen pictures of these with the um, carriers that aren't like, you know, 
ones as nice as that. Some of them are just like plain green sort of fabric looking ones. But I suppose like lots of nations, they, um, you know, over time improve the carriers. So yeah, there you go. That's the Korean K1 gas mask. I guess K for Korea, maybe. Um, that's an easy way of remembering it. So I assume at some point this will be replaced in service in the next few years. But, you know, it seems quite a good mask for what it is. But, you know, it's obviously a mask that's designed to meet that kind of parameter, I imagine, of not too expensive to produce per mask, but offer a decent level of protection. Because, again, a thing I think a lot of people forget is with logistics, you can't basically have an infinitely amazing mask that you can issue to every member of your civilian population, military, civil defence, whatever. You know, the better the mask is, generally, the more it costs and the slower it is to manufacture. So you always have to come up with a compromise to suit your budget and time frame you need to sort of make masks. So, again, this looks like one of those masks that um, does that. Again... Like I said, reminds me a lot of the FMJ05. This probably predates the FMJ05, though. But, um, yeah, I'm saying if you want a similar mask to this, the FMJ05 or the MF11 sort of civilian variants of that are quite similar to this, um, you know, and available on AliExpress and places like that. Although, obviously, this does feel a lot better made, but China see China copy. But anyway, um, and then you've got, like, the FMJ08, which is the S10 copy. But hope you found this interesting, and thanks again to JJ, and I'll put his full name in the description, you know, because, as I said, I can't remember all the names uh, and numbers for these sort of things without actually um, looking them up directly as I'm typing them out. So thanks again to him, and it does look like quite a good um, respirator for what it is.